So here we are, another painting video. Uh, to change it up a little bit, I thought, why not give this little guy a zombie kind of look and make something different. So let's get into it. So to start out, I just have some white acrylic paint, nothing special. It's not real bright white. It's kind of got like a little bit of a eggshell to it, but since it's a zombie style, not too worried about it. I'm just starting off with the eyes now, just to get them drying. And it's the whitest color I'd be using technically, so that's the real reason why I should be doing this part now. But start painting whatever you want first, but this is what I'm starting with. With the eyes sort of uh, drying right now, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the rest of this white which is a little bit of uh, brown basically but this one's raw umber but brown if you have it just a little bit to start mix it up kind of try to see if I can get a light brown out of it at least brownish color and then that's going to be kind of the base around all this and then I'm going to do some lighter color here and then like a goldish tan on the beak and feet and then we'll uh, kind of add some details from there. So this one turned out a little bit grayer than I anticipated. I didn't add any other brown I had, just it's not a big deal for me. I'm just going to coat this whole outside part of the body with it. And then I'll go back with a smaller brush to get the nooks and crannies close to the eyes and stuff alright guys jumped ahead a little bit got the uh, stomach kinda done I know I mentioned the tannish color but I just went ahead and tried to utilize that gray not waste it all so I just added some it's called the yellow deep just a darker yellow added that to the gray just to come up with this puke green which this is zombie owl, so it's not a big deal. So I went ahead and covered the stomach, did the eyebrows the same. If you guys are finding it hard to get in the nooks and crannies without getting it on, you know, like pieces you're painted already, don't sweat it. You can always go back and just touch up each little thing. It's not a big deal. It happens. I sped up this process for drying just with the heat gun as well. Um, you can see a little bit of grain through there if you want double coat it but I'm going to do black wash over probably the whole thing anyways so I'm not too worried about it myself but I'm just finishing up a little bit here and there on the stomach then I'm going to mix up something for the beak and feet and then we'll add in some of the uh, blood type details and a little bit of black and the black wash at the end so under the beak and feet area I'm just going to use this yellow it's kind of a dollar yellow I might Throw in a little bit black to darken it, but we'll see how it looks. And we're just going to coat the whole thing like everything else. So we got the yellow done. I stuck with the original color so it worked. Um, you can see I got a little bit up on the green. I'm just going to clean off the paintbrush. Just kind of come in here and clean that up. So next, I want to throw some kind of like red veins in the eyes. So I'm just going to kind of make little squigglies. Nothing perfect, just little squiggly lines to indicate, you know, bloodshot eyes. I don't know if you guys can really see that. I'm just using a really fine point pen. Let's see if you guys can see that's Pigma Micron. This is a 05. There's like 005, 03s. There's different tip sizes, but I got this just at the craft store a long time ago for drawing, but figured that would come in handy for this. Don't need to do that step, but I think it just adds a little bit extra detail. And next, I'm going to. Take a little bit of red 
I got just some crimson red right here. Any red will work, but this kind of has a darker color to it. And just going to make like a white wash with it. Very light just to start because we don't want to overdo it. But just taking that, some water with it, you just mix it together and dilute it and kind of brush it on there a little bit. Take like a paper towel and dab it. And you can go heavier if you want or lighter. But just to kind of give it that bloodshot eye look. And then if you want, you could use paint or a fine point sharpie. Just make a couple little nostril holes up here to allow it to breathe. Even though it doesn't really need to, I guess, when it's a zombie, but it used to. So, paint works fine with that. I just find marker, fine point sharpie, just a lot easier to manage. Now I'm going to uh, just take some regular black acrylic paint and just kind of touch up the uh, insides of these toes. And then make a wash out of it. Um, might do the blood areas before the wash but I'm going to do the black right now and then, then we might jump to the the blood spots nothing too crazy just kind of darkening it up there so with the same crimson red I'm not uh, diluting any of it I'm just taking a fine brush and kind of just Putting a little bit on the beak and kind of dribbling down on the uh, the chest of the owl just to give it that look like it was just eating something. So something like that. Go as crazy as you want. Um, I wasn't sure how much I wanted to do on this one, but... I was thinking about taking that makeup sponge and just kind of dabbing a little bit on the chest. So just kind of rub it in right there and just kind of smush it around. Again, get as crazy as you want. Could do less or more. Whatever you uh, want to experiment with. So now I'm going to dry this real quick. And then I'm just going to make a black wash. Which is again just taking the acrylic paint. Putting it just in one of these uh, slots. I'll probably do an empty one and just add the water as I go. See how thick I want it. But basically just mix it up to your consistency. And then I'm just going to take the big brush and just coat the whole thing a few times and dry it and do it again so here's the uh, wash I did right here um, this one's a little bit darker than this this is just that water I was pulling from so just take it again I would advise going with the lighter one if you're not sure how dark dark it's gonna be or if you want it that dark because you can always apply more later but um, just in case I'm going to start in the back like that and this one isn't too dark so we'll probably be adding to it but you're basically just brushing the whole thing uh, you don't have to you can leave it as is this just kind of gives it that dirty zombie texture kind of vibe I guess for my preference but that's the beauty of this is you can do do it however you want. You can make multiple ones and test which uh, you like the best or whatever. So I'm just coating this, if you can see, my bad uh, camera work. Just heavily just coating the whole thing so it's dirty looking and hasn't showered in a minute since being a zombie. So doing that, gonna hit it with the heat gun, see how it kind of dries and if it dries fairly dark in some spots I might leave it or just add another coat quick drying it didn't turn out too bad uh, I think I'm going to hit it with a little bit more paint in this one 
just kind of get it a little bit more grimier looking. All right, so it's mostly dry. I got a couple wet spots still, but here's kind of the end result. Um, just experimenting. That would be fun to do something different with painting instead of the same old colors. Uh, I'm going to show you one of the regular owls I have. Kind of the difference here. Um, you can certainly keep the eyes. You can do what you want. The blank eye just kind of set it off differently, I think. So you kind of know it's a little different. But same carving, just different paint job. I did do a penguin version the other day. Compare those two for you. You can kind of see their same concept, just just zombified, I guess you'd say. But kind of the beginning of the zombie collection. But if you want to give this a shot, for you, definitely uh, worth a shot trying once. See if you like uh, doing it. I found it pretty fun, you know, because doing your average painting ones kind of gets old after a while so trying something different and making a little zombie collection is kind of fun so um, if you guys don't get in all the little uh, tight spots don't uh, worry about it that black wash when you coat it it just seeps into all the points that you can't reach and covers it anyway so don't stress out about it if you are wondering so I mentioned in other videos but I just want to reiterate for you guys so uh hopefully you guys liked the video hope you uh watch till the end here and if you uh liked it please give a thumbs up leave a comment if you have tried this yourself or you're looking to try it and i uh, appreciate you guys and i'll see you guys next time